There have been reports in the media recently of an area of disputed land in eastern St. Thomas called Old Piera. Residents there are disputing the claims of ownership of the land by former Member of Parliament, Pernell Charles Sr. His daughter, MP Dr. Michelle Charles, found herself in the middle of confrontation with irate residents while the area was visited by opposition leader Mark Golding. Melvin Pennant has that story. When our news team visited Old Piera in eastern St. Thomas, this is what we found, irate residents. Yes, I feel we. They can't take it from we. A rebel, we are rebel with them. We know we are not like that boy. Yes, I feel we, please. When we come last to God, so we are going to pick them as we are on our kid. We never see this before. So we don't know where Pernell and Miss Charles and both daddy place. Where daddy get here? Where daddy born from? Daddy not born here. They claim that they have been disrupted from gainful employment by the owner of the land, former member of parliament, Pernell Charles Sr. The disgruntled citizens recently reached out to the opposition leader, Mark Golden. I'm here today at the invitation of local community members. Um, as leader of the opposition, they reached out to me and said that they were very unhappy about what's happening here at Old Pier. So I visited and essentially what has happened is that they beach and an island off the coast which is accessible because the water is not very deep um, which had been used as a camp site for an eco-friendly um, camp operation where persons from the local community were making a, a good living or hustling off of it because they could cook they could supply food and beverage and other services needed by the visitors who were camping there that had been shut down by the person who claims to be the owner, former MP Colonel Charles, and um, signs have been erected um, saying it's all private property and so on. The beach is also a beach where fishermen go to go out to sea from, and there's a right of way which they have used. Mr. Golding sided with the residents. Money can't buy this. This is priceless. And if the community has always had the benefit of coming here to recreate, to, to enjoy themselves, Cook a little food, converse, meditate while I'm in. With the, the MP should not allow that to, she must protect the people and their rights to use this. Eastern St. Thomas Member of Parliament Dr. Michelle Charles also visited the area on the same day. When I got there, I was quite surprised because I saw the um, council caretaker for the Dalby Division and Mr. Beckford, which is a, a, I don't know, I think he's a liaison officer, and he accused me and my family of stealing land. Mr. Charles Sugarland, that's madness. Mr. Beckford. Who not have taken enough, so no one take this. We will fight to the bitter end to defend this from the people. You and your father need to go back to St. Anne and leave in Eastern St. Thomas. You have taken enough land. In all these parcels of land, that the former MP is claiming ownership of. We have not seen no paperwork from him, neither have we seen any title to say that he is the owner to support his claim. This was Dr. Charles' response to the accusations. So I said to him, Mr. Beckford, call the police. <laughs> the reality of it is, it's very easy for someone to look up who owns what property. Uh, it's, it's something that you just simply go and do. And I told the leader of the opposition that he can go ahead and do that. Everyone has access to find out who owns what property. But for me, I am grateful that the government of Jamaica has taken up under their wing the parish of St. Thomas, in particular, Eastern St. Thomas. She said there are governmental development plans in the pipeline for the parish. We are a diamond in the rough. And we have so many plans for the people of St. Thomas, and all that the government has planned is in this book. So I made little copies and I circle, circulated them around, and you can go um, to the Ministry of Tourism and find out what we are uh, planning to do for Eastern St. Thomas. Melvin Pennant, PBCJ News.